We off top. Griselda Z, Conway. Yo, the yes, family yes, is in sir. the building. What up, fam? What up, what up, what up? What up what everything y'all? good? Yeah, everything good, man. Everything, you know, everything beautiful. Blessed, you know what I mean? Happy to be, you know what I mean? Still around, still doing how I do it, you know? Absolutely. No doubt. So listen, for the longest time, it seemed, it was really difficult for that part of the country, mm-hmm. up north, north, to break through. Uh, Griselda definitely uh, rewrote the standards, rewrote the books. What kind of advice would you give to any other, the rest of the artists up that way? Or, or any remote location, you know what I'm saying? Trying to break through. Um, just don't stop believing in yourself and believing in your craft, man, and your pen. And just, you know, stick to what you do best and do you, you know what I mean? A lot of times, like, I see a lot of artists get caught up in trying to do, like, you know, what's hot or what they think, you know what I'm saying? Gonna play in the club or on the radio and all that, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, hip hop is... Is, is is based off originality, like people like originality, like Facts. you know what I'm saying. I, I, you know, I just always wanted to be the guy that I want to stand out. I don't want to fit in, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. So, I, I, that's what be my advice. You know what I mean? Just, just do you, man, and, and you know, however the however the cars fall, however the chips fall, that's that's what it is. Take it how it come and just navigate through it. Don't try to be like nothing else, nobody else. You know what I'm saying? Be original. That's right. Nobody can make another you. No, you know what I'm no saying? saying. And, and you can't be better at nobody else than what they already doing. Right. Like right. that's probably my favorite bit of advice that yeah. I heard this week, maybe. <laughs> right. <laughs> be <Bars>. original. <laughs> yeah, please be original. But um, I've been indie, did the label thing, now you with Shady Records. Some people have good stories, a lot of people have not so good stories. Like, what's your experience been like, you know, and what can you share to anybody thinking about doing the label thing or not? I mean, you know, it's 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 been good because it's, you know. It's, it's a part of the journey, Right. I feel. You know what I mean? I feel like, you know, the journey is important because everything that you need to, to get through life is in your journey if you just look at it and pay attention to it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's beauty in the journey. It's turmoil. It's ups and downs. It's, it's whatever. But the beautiful part about it is it's lessons in it. You right. know what I'm saying? And you can actually grow and get smarter. And, you know, I don't really got nothing bad to say. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep it a buck. You know, but you know what I mean? I, I just appreciate that chapter, you know, you know, fucking with Shady and you right. know, Paul and, and all of them, you know, giving me an opportunity coming from Buffalo mm-hmm. to you know what I mean, and especially making the kind of music that we making and Absolutely. shit. Absolutely. Like to just, you know, roll the dice on us and fuck with us. I feel like that's 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 major and I I'll forever be grateful hundred mm-hmm. percent. But you you touched on you say making the kind of music you make. How how would you classify the music you make? Cause, I mean it is definitely your own way. You <laughs> talked about originality. Uh, what, what would you say your your kind of music that you make? Well, I mean, I'm gonna keep it a hundred. Like, I ain't gonna say like it's my own way because, of course, man, you know, I definitely gotta pay respect to a lot of niggas that was before me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, Prodigy, rest in peace. You know, Havoc. You know what I mean? Um, you know, Gangstar. You Come know, on. And, and, and on and on, Wu Tang, yeah. shit like that. So, <laughs> like, you know, what I mean, I, I, you know. I said this in a rap, like, you know, one of my bars, like, you know, I, I'm Steph Curry. I, I didn't invent the three, but, you know, ain't nobody really in the game did it like me. Right. You feel mm-hmm. me? So it's like, I just, you know, I feel like we, Griselda just, revel, you know, just changed the game kind of to where we made, we, we gave niggas that, that comfort, mm-hmm. made niggas comfortable to just like, oh, shit, I can really do like that and still my neck be looking like these niggas shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> that's what I do. Right. I can do this. I ain't got to do that no right, more. Right. So I feel like that's what we, that's the ingredient that we put in the, in the, in the pot. You know what I'm saying? To make motherfuckers more comfortable and shit. And I talk to a lot of rap niggas who, are, you know, I look up to and I fuck with and they, they all like saying shit like, man, y'all niggas made me want to do this shit. Y'all niggas Come made on. me want to rap again. Yeah. Yeah. Like, ah, this album came out because of y'all, shit like that. So. You know, it's just gratifying, but you know, I, I can't put no classification on it. It's just really the same shit that, mm-hmm. you know, that we love growing up and we fucked with. But right. you know, what I'm saying it's just in our way. You know what right. I'm saying? That's all. You made it your own. Yeah. Let me you know tell what I'm you, saying? 
rapping on them samples with no drums is, a, is an <laughs> old situation. Yeah. yeah, no question. I'm glad y'all brought that feeling and sound back. Yeah, like, it just felt good to just rap. Sometimes yeah. man, I just like to go in the studio or whatever and just be free. Yeah, like, rap. I don't even want to think of no no hooks and nothing, right. that, none of that shit. If you listen to a lot of my shit, I ain't thinking about no hook <laughs> or none of that shit. I'll be naming that shit on the spot. Like, man, you ain't fucking <laughs> name, name, that, name that shit. You know what I'm saying? Bishop got killed. Man. <laughs> Load the next. Name that shit Coke on the mirror, man. Fuck it. Like, I just, you know what I mean? It's all a feel. Like, when you in the studio, this shit is all like a feeling. Like, you just, right. it's a vibe. Like, you know what I mean? I don't have like a notebook full of raps and shit that I just yeah. sit around. I just, it's a vibe. I go in there, and, you know what I'm saying, with the homies, and I just turn some shit on, and, and I just go through beats. And as soon as I hear something, they'll be like, oh shit, give me that, load that up. And I get oh, that shit done quick. So you don't, you don't use paper? I, I do oh, and okay, I don't. Okay, okay. Sometimes I do Sometimes. both. Sometimes, I mean, it depends on how you the feeling. Beat, the beat tenure. Right. If it's that vibe, like, I don't need no no paper. Like, if it's that vibe, you feel me? Yeah. I could just go right in. And right. Sometimes. And then sometimes Damn. the mm. beat might be like, all right, let me just, before I forget this shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm I might have like an idiot engineer. <laughs> you know what I mean? This nigga fucking up this shit. Like, yo, let me You're just write this shit before I forget this shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, that's one thing that I'm still mad. I, I I have to write with paper. Yeah. Like, but because the beauty of not writing with paper is you don't have to think about how to perform it, right? It right. just come out emotionally. So right. I think that's ill. All right, now, Jay Z, the big homie, one of y'all biggest supporters. Mm -hmm. He always could pop at the shows, always in the pictures. Mm -hmm. The people want to know. Is there anything? Now I'm gonna be mad if you get a J verse before me, but I, <laughs> but I still love you. You my bro. But I mean, the people wanna know, like you know, is is there any creativity going on in the in the, in the um, studio? Um, we'll we'll see, we'll see. You know what I'm saying? We'll, we'll see, man. Who knows, man? You know? I love it. Who knows? Yeah, stay tuned and find out. You know, it's stay big tuned. Homie. Pay attention, man. I, you know, I got friends in high places. <laughs> no uh, doubt. So let me ask you about this because we've been paying attention, <laughs> and you and uh, Capo been back and forth. <laughs> you and Capo been back and forth about whatever. It sounds like he's trying to set up a whole sponsored verses and all of that. Mm -hmm. uh, is, is it all? Is, is, is it all fun and games? Is it serious? Do you respect his pen? Is, is it like no wins for him? Like where we at with it? <laughs> well, um, it's definitely you know all fun and games. You know, Cabo, that's family. Mm. We 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 hit each other. We talk all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like you know that's the homie, man. And I definitely respect his pen. And, and you know I've been fucking with Cabo shit since <laughs> you know the two oh, 2003 and all that shit. You right. know, back when. You know the you know the set was 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 killing shit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and it's, it's definitely a mutual respect. You know what I mean? Like we 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 got wild love for each other. You know what I'm saying? But um yeah, no, nah, Cabo ain't got no wins, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's Cabo what Tigger was waiting no wins, on. <laughs> Look, I needed that. <laughs> no, it's still respect, but it's competitive. Yeah, you know it's, what I'm it's, saying? it's respect, and, and um you know really you know this gym. This Jim Jones whole premise, like, you know, mm. this really, you know, he masterminded all this, you know what I'm saying? Like, basically just like, uh, man, we need to just, you know, that's this element is missing in the game, right. you know what I'm saying? Like the competitive, it's, it's what hip hop, you know, was always, always about, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, we need that, we can do it respectfully and without it resorting to violence right. and all right. that bullshit, right. like, you know what I mean? Ain't no <laughs> egos involved and right. none of that shit, we both, you know what I'm saying? Doing well in life. We both got exactly. money. We ain't tripping. Like, it ain't that serious. You know what I mean? But I, I go song for song or bar for bar with anybody. <laughs> you know what I mean? Please leave. Yes. Or drip for drip with anybody. Please leave. However me alone. you want Stay it, I got it. Out my way. Stay out my way. You feel me? I just want to. You know, spend bread and you know what I mean, and so, have a beautiful woman in bed. Okay. You know what I mean? Stay out, might leave me alone. Yo, that's, you know what I'm saying? That's no, that's respect. So being that rap is so competitive. I Somebody was when you was gonna ask me. Um, I know. I'm sorry. I be trying to catch my beat, man. So y'all already got relationships, so I'm just trying to let y'all do your thing. But nah, we good. since um since rap is so competitive, if somebody was to drop like a diss record on you, are you responding or are you just like, nah, I'm good on that? Nah, I'm good. I ain't responding to that. Really? No? Yeah, I'm not responding to no diss songs. 
He said it ain't worth that my ain't, energy. Yeah, it ain't worth my energy. See, that's the negative bullshit in it. Mm. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I feel like, you know, we are men and we are individuals. And you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a phone call or whatever. Like, mm. whatever yeah. issue or shit or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, the way me and Jim going, it ain't no smoke. It ain't like that. Like, it's, right. you know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's. it's the element of hip hop that the game been missing. Like we can keep it respectful, but I ain't I ain't really jacking no no sneak attacks and no that none of that shit, no sneak dissing from none of these niggas. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't got time for no negativity in my life. You I respect me? that, yeah. I got a lot of a lot of responsibilities, a lot of people to take care of. I got a, a lot more money to spend and a lot more balling to do. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got time to be worried about a nigga that just feel like throwing a diss song out there. Like but I, I, however, if a nigga, if we want to just, you know, in front of whatever or whoever, any type of platform, we could just go bar for bar and song for song. Right. Yeah. We ain't got to diss song each other. Like, right. that ain't getting us right. no money. Yeah. You feel me? Hey, smack. Let's get it going, <laughs> baby. You know I, mean? yeah, yeah. I like to, just, you know, I just like to plug my, you know, my right. aux cord up. <laughs> <laughs> right. Whoever want to do it, want to no smoke. Whoever want to smoke. With yeah. this. Like and all that it. other shit, I ain't with all that. I, you know what I mean? I don't like, you know, all that other type of, you know. Right. I, I enjoy watching that battle rap shit, but exactly. I, I don't want to participate in that, man. Right. You, know, it. you know, I got kids, man. I'm, you know, let's I'm on a different money. type of time, man. <laughs> and let's go. That's it. You know, yeah. own a shit. Let's own, you know what I mean? I'm on, I'm on a different type of time, man. Yeah, you know? exactly. I'm not in my 20s no more. You mm -hmm. feel me? Where? But I enjoy that shit thoroughly. Right. Like, I, I fucks with that shit, all that shit. You know what I mean? And But if a nigga, to answer your question, nigga diss song me, you know, man, it ain't going to be no song. That's going to, that's the last thing I'm going to have to worry about doing. <laughs> you know, my main concern is telling telling the homies to stand down. Mm. <laughs> mm. Hey, keep it funky. That's a hundred. Yeah. So, uh, you know, people like to look inside of our lives and how we create, you know, in the studio. And being an MC and a storyteller like you are, I know me, I write a record 59 million times. You know, is when it comes to your process, are you somebody that like you do it and it's 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 done like yo, I captured the moment, it is what it is, and you like, yo, let me go back and redo that again. Um, I used to be like that, like just uh, when I do it, it's done. Cause you know, I'm such a, I'm, I'm kind of like a perfectionist when I do my shit. So it's like, before I even leave a booth, it's already where I wanted to be at, right. you feel me? And so I don't really have to go back in and, and fuck with nothing. But you know, lately I've been doing that and shit. Cause like, you know, like we was talking like with the, you know, the song we did and stuff right. like that. Like when I just be having songs, um, just in the, in the chamber and I'm just, you know, listening to them shits over and over and all that, you know what I mean? Like, I might, you know, like, you know, I could say an iller right. line right there. Right. Or a line might get dated or something. Like, right. You know, let me change that. Let me let me say something better right there. But, you know, that's that's really my process now. I still go in and fine tune things all the time. Hell yeah. You had to, you know what I'm saying? You can't just be... You know, especially you got these, you know what I mean? These old niggas calling you out, man. You got to make sure your shit's sharp, man. That's why I put this shit on right here. Like, wait, 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 let me see, you let me see, let me see. You feel me? I don't want to open that up. I don't even want to open that up. JoJo's a fly nigga. He know what my, how much news like this call. You feel me? Leave me alone. <laughs> Yo, that's the ball for the day. Hey, leave, leave me alone. Me alone. <laughs> so, if you had to pick, who would you say is on your Mount Rushmore of rap right now? Mm. You gotta pick four. Um, Jay Z. Oh, come on. Eminem. Eminem. Mm. Nas Escobar. Okay. Nas. And uh, Christopher Wallace. Biggie. Yo, that's a hard four. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh. However, though, got if I'm mention. able to do another four, this is my <laughs> yeah. four who I feel like, you know what I mean, is just super unfuckwittable. Okay. And if it wasn't for, if these dudes, it wasn't for them, this is my four. Okay. All right. Andre 3000. Come on. Stacks. DMX. Come on. Black Thought. Mm. Yeah. Who was my fourth? Mm. I don't know. I said Scarface. Oh, wow. okay. Yeah. Respect. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, you want me over with Black Dot for sure. <laughs> and, and fifth is Ice Cube, but they ain't asked me for five. Yeah, yeah, okay. Nah, I love that. 
All right. Since we talking about, you know, Mount Rushmore and, you know, some of your legends and your favorites, let's take it with the Method Man, right? Mm -hmm. Got to give bro his roses. One of Definitely. my favorite rappers. One of the ever right? seven. To Cal. You know, not only did he body to Cal, mm -hmm. didn't curse in the mm -hmm. verse. You know, he gave you one of the best speeches of 2020. I, I totally agree with that. Yeah. When you when you receive that verse, you know, take us to that moment. Like, how did it feel? Like, you know. What was it like to, it's like, man, I got meth on the joint. Like, I know how I be feeling, but yeah. I want to go in the Conway world. Yeah, nah, it definitely was some, it was definitely some bucket list shit. Like, yeah. when I got that verse back, you know what I'm saying? And it was like, get the fuck out of here. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, when he told me he was even going to do it, I was like, get the fuck, fuck out of here. here. Don't, <laughs> don't play with me. Yeah, and then he sent that shit back. Like, actually, he didn't send it back, like, the first day or two. Uh-huh. And you know what I mean? Like, Meth ain't really, I could tell ain't really with the text and this shit, because I'm texting him and shit. So Meth sending me like in the text, like a video of him talking, like, yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, I wrote the verse, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna knock that shit out later tonight. I'm gonna get it to you, da 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 da. Send the joint, you know what I mean? And I hear that shit, I'm like, damn, this shit crazy. Like, right. I can't believe, like, Meth. And then to hear him like do that to it, like, it's usually. Right. Niggas don't really outdo me on on, on joints. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, you know, I'm I'm the, but I'm a respectable dude, and I can know I can gracefully buy like now, nah, like yo, you got that one. You right. know what I'm saying? And meth, meth, meth went crazy. I think that was a verse of the year candidate for sure. Mm. Yeah. What's uh, you know, what's some of the best advice that he's giving you if y'all had a chance to like chop it up to that level? None. The best advice he gave me was just shit. Keep fucking them up. Keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> That's you know so what I'm saying? Man yeah, right there. keep fucking them up, right? You killing shit right now. Keep your foot on these niggas' necks. Yeah. And just don't stop. You know what I mean? So getting that was on your bucket list. Is there anything else that you would say is on your bucket list that you're trying to get done in 2021? Uh, that's a that's a great question, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Especially, I feel like I've done everything. What more, everything. What, what more is left for me to do? <laughs> Wait, everything. You know what I'm saying? You, you, see, you, know what I mean? <laughs> you see what I'm doing out here. What more is left for me to do? Nah, There's always but, um, some left. Um, I don't know, man. I, I never really thought of that, really. You know what I'm saying? I just, I, I'm in my mind state now. I'm just taking every day, one day at a time, and just appreciating the blessings. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, when you know, once I got, sh when I got shot, man, that shit really changed my life. It made me just like, you know, I got to appreciate everything. So even when I ain't had nothing and, you know, I had to go to the store and get 30 cent packs of top ramen. Right. You know what I'm saying? I was happy. I was putting my little, my beef stick in that shit, crunching my Doritos <laughs> up in it, eating that shit like it was something from Benny Hanna's. Yeah, you feel me? That shit tastes like Benny Hanna to me. And I was just thankful for that. So, you know, even so I'm just, you know, just being alive is my bucket list right now. You know what I'm Absolutely. saying? Being free. Now, aside from finding therapy in your music, uh, you mentioned getting shot, which, you know, lots of people don't survive mentally or physically. 100%. Uh, what other things have you found that have been helpful for you to overcome PTSD and all the things that came along with surviving that? Um, to be honest, sports helped me a lot. You mm -hmm. know, just, you know, watching sports and, you know, learning, understanding the game more. Well, I've been understood the game, but just like watching it from a different perspective, to, you know, to be on my, you know, be on my Stephen A. Smith shit. You feel know? me? <laughs> so I'll be, you know, I, I find when I'm, I just having my mind focused on stuff and, you know, the stuff that I do in the hood too. Like, you know, I've been, you know, I, and I don't really talk about this much, but I give a lot of money back to the community and feed the homeless and pass book bags right. out. And, school clothes and scarves and coats and shit in the winter and all the things like that that I do in the community actually gave me, I find solace in. That shit helped me a lot, you know what I mean? Because I think I made a post about that shit. Like when I, you know, when I when I got shot and shit and, and, and when I had to accept the fact that, you know, my face was going to be paralyzed and shit and fucked mm. up forever, you know, I used to just be on like, just mad at the world, like you feel me? Like I didn't give a really, I ain't really give a fuck about nothing and nobody. I, you know, I just had a lot of hate built up and mm -hmm. anger, and I was just taking it out on any and everybody, kind of. Mm -hmm. And I had to just kind of like just, you know, you know, it was showing love. Actually, you know, that's how I overcame that. You know what I mean? By just showing more love, like you know, trying to put niggas on from the town. Um, 
and just giving back to the city and you know working with the you know the uh, the, the county legislators and the, you know and the, and the people in the city to just try to you know change change the demographic of the city, man, with the violence and these young niggas mm -hmm. out here wilding and stuff. I'm just trying to do just I'm just trying to leave my mark and right. impact you know my city first and then you know spread that shit to the rest of the world. You know what I mean? But that's what really hot what helped me with dealing with that shit. No doubt. Now, if you had to say who's the best rapper out of Griselda? Ooh. Who you gonna pick? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I ain't asked that question. Yo, me. Man, I know, bro. He said he is. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't say yeah, that yet. Yeah, I'm listening. Nah, Conway um, the Machine is definitely the best rapper out of any group. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I could have been in anything. I would have been a dip set. I would have been the best. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just fucking with Jim. I'm just fucking with Jim right now. But yeah, nah, I feel like I'm the best. You know what I mean? I feel like, if you want me to be totally honest, though. Yeah, always. I feel like, you know, West Side Gun, to me, is very slighted and underrated. I don't feel like we never seen or heard mm -hmm. nothing like this. And we just listen to the shit he's saying and how he's doing it and how he paint his picture. Absolutely. I feel like his style is a one of one. That's why niggas like Busta, like DMX and yeah. shit, you know what I mean? Missy Kevin. Elliott. That's why they, I fucked with they shit because they was one of one, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? It's nobody that can have their style or whatever. And Wes is like that. So I appreciate and respect Wes shit. I feel like can nobody really fuck with Wes. And Benny, I mean, y'all hear what Benny doing out there. No yeah. doubt. Yeah. Like, it's all, every time I hear a, a rap or a video from Benny, I just, like, throw my phone. Like, bro, this, <laughs> shit, this, shit, this shit gotta stop. You <laughs> feel me? So, I, you know, if I'm gonna just be totally honest, I feel like those guys are the best. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But they will tell you, you know, I'm, I'm older than them. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm older than them, so. You know, they they wasn't always rapping. I was the guy who I was rapping when I was, you know, 14, 15, mm. battling niggas that's 20 in their 20s and shit, winning battles and all that that made them, you know, Benny younger than me. So he was, you Inspired. know, a kid looking up like, damn, yeah. you know what I mean? Word, big bro. You know what I'm saying? Big cuz. So, you know, they they would tell you what I just said, like, nah, Conway, that that guy in like, you know, in, in the city. You know, it's what mutual mean? respect. Yeah. But the way that they doing it, I mean I admire that shit, you know what I mean? For mm. real. It's dope to see that camaraderie, respect, but still competitiveness in the group, right? It's, separate, it's super competitive. When we in the studio working on songs together, like everybody's trying to have the illest verse. Like mm. I'm trying to bite that nigga head off. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I'm trying trouble. to go crazy in there. Like I can't have these niggas saying, I got the worst verse on this. Mm. You right. know what I mean? And that's mm. I think what make our shit so raw. Yeah. Right. And at the same time, we family and we ain't holding no punches. So like, you know what I mean? Wes will come tell you like, nah, bro, that ain't, that ain't you can it. say something iller. Right. And we we okay with, you know, right. holding each other accountable for some whack shit. So <laughs> right. we know our shit fire. <laughs> no doubt. That yeah. stuff, yeah. That's the beauty in group. Like, you don't see a lot of groups like they used to be. Like, when I mean, you think about, you know, um, all the groups, where do you think Griselda ranks? Whether it be, you know, Outkast, a Mob Deep, or, you know, where do you see yourself at this point in life? You want me to just give you the the, the, the TV answer? Ah. <laughs> no TV I don't answer. even like answering questions like this because I you don't know, want none of the, my OGs <laughs> mad at me. Yeah. Nah, you you know, feel me? But, man, respect. I feel like we the best ever. Ooh, period. You know I me? like that. You know, and it tell ain't me nothing. why. Tell me why. I need. Uh, tell me why. Ain't nothing Break wrong that down. I'm not mad at the answer. I just want to understand the answer. I just feel like, you know, what I mean, you know, you got to put everything in context. Uh, first of all, we came from like Buffalo, New York, where like nobody's ever blew up from or even had a shot. We don't have like Def Jam downtown or Universal. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody really did nothing musically since Rick James then, back then. You know what I'm saying? And when we came in, we came in, we was already in our 30s. You know what I'm saying? I was 33. I was 33 when I signed my deal. Right. You dig what I'm saying? And rapping over like drumless sample loops with no hooks and gun sounds and shit on it. You know what I'm saying? And, and to take it to, to that from to like being on Fallon and shit like that. Mm -hmm. And we only been here in five years and the projects we, we've dropped over at least 12 projects a year mm. that in some people's minds is like timeless classics. Mm. You feel me? 
and like, you know, and this ain't no no disrespect to none of the legends and the icons and the OGs, but like, you know, a lot of them niggas, man, when they was in their 30s and 35, 38, 39, nigga, they, we ain't wanna hear that shit no more. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. We didn't. Mm. Not, not we, I loved it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I personally wanted to hear it, but what I'm saying is, no, no. niggas had to do, what I'm saying is not that, sh they didn't want to hear that shit no more, meaning how we was giving it up in the 90s. Mm. Yeah. So niggas, you know what I'm saying? Music doing change. other shit yeah. and making other type of great, it was great music all in all, but it wasn't this, right. and yeah. they couldn't bring this back. Mm. Yeah. And that ain't even what we set out to do. We was just doing us. But it turned into this. And I just felt like, man, if you give it, we came in 2015 to 2021 and did all this. Like, ain't nobody did this in that short of a span. Mm -hmm. You know yeah, that's what I'm exactly. saying? Who I, does the the most ad libs with do, 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 do. Who does that? Who 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 does the most of those? No, that's, yeah, that's West shit. <laughs> West the, the ad lib champion. No um, doubt. Conway, good good conversation, bro. Glad you're here. We, we ready to get you in the zone. I know you're ready for that. Yeah, I, I'm ready. I'm okay. Ready. I know you're ready for that. Oh, I gotta think of something. See if I can come. Oh, sure, oh, I'm, oh, I'm man. sure it won't be that hard. <laughs> <laughs> this is dope. No doubt, man. Thank y'all for having me, no man. Doubt. This shit fly, man. I'm happy shit like this still exists, man. Still going on, man. For the culture, we need shit like this. Do, 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 do. Hey, 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 hey. For real. Killing everybody. <laughs> nah, we. Shit. No question, no question. <laughs> we super to have you, man. Excited. Definitely. Move you going off the top, top? Uh, I don't see what I can come up with, hey, man. I might have to. Hey. I can't come up with nothing. Hey, you heard what he said. It's you about to be crazy in the zone. Uh, in the zone. Let's get it. <laughs>